Calling News, episode 31. I am your anchor, Summer Boosh, alongside with my co-anchor, Jasmine Mathia. Calling News from the Counseling Department. Hi, I'm Summer Gooch interviewing Ms. Stanton from the Counseling Department. Are there any final requirements that students need to make before the year ends? Really, there aren't any requirements that the students have for the end of the year. What is going to be happening is that counselors will be meeting with students if there's a scheduling conflict for next year, meaning two classes aren't going to fit into an hour. So in terms of requirements, we just stress that students do that the best they possibly can to finish out the year and with final exams and get that GPA as high as possible. Okay, thank you. Reporting for Garlic News is Mary Cox with Ms. Stetzel. I'm Mary Ann Cox reporting for the Garlic News. I have the pleasure of being here today with Ms. Stetzel, a Garlic High School English teacher. How long have you been teaching? This will be my third year. So. Um, what made you want to be an English teacher? Well, it's kind of what I always wanted to do. I always wanted to teach, um, and English is my favorite subject. I love reading and writing, so it's kind of a natural fit. What's your favorite thing about teaching? My favorite thing about teaching is working with kids and having a good time. Like when they laugh and they actually enjoy something and then learn something, that's the best. So this is your first year at Gullies High School. What do you think about it? It's definitely an adjustment from the last high school I was at, which was an inner city Grand Rapids. And it's been an adjustment from the middle school, where you used to kind of talking to middle schoolers and hand feeding them everything. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. And I really loved working with the cheer program and uh, made it great. Um, have you made any new friends with some of the teachers here? That's taken a little bit more time because we don't have it very much time to talk to people and I don't ever get out of my wing. Um, I was already really good friends with Mr. Harvey because we taught together at the middle school and Mr. Hawkins and Ms. Kane right next door. I talk to them a lot. Pretty much the English department I see on a regular basis. Okay, one more question just this one. Um, if you could be any character in one of the books you teach, who would you be and why? Well, my all-time favorite book is Catcher and Rye and I definitely relate to Holden even though I'd like to think I'm not a psychopath. So I guess I'd have to go with Holden. Thank you, Ms. Bessel, for your time. Reporting for Golic News, I'm Mary Ann Cox. Back to the studio. Thank you, Mary, for that incredible interview with Ms. Bessel. Reporting for Golic News is Ellie Harnden with the Class of 2012 Seniors Final Day. Hi, I'm Ellie Harnden, and I'm going to be interviewing several seniors here at Golic on their final thoughts of the last week of high school and their plans for the future. Hey, senior! So, Dustin, you're a senior. Yeah. Are you excited for the final days of high school? Um, yes, I'm definitely ready to be out of here. What are your plans for the future? Um, do something in the medical field. I'm going to be going to KBCC to get a um, paramedics license. Cool. Now, how, what were your experiences here at Gully for the four years? Um, definitely changed me a lot. Maybe more of uh, a A lot of teachers really like um, Just It was cool. Just a lot of stuff. That's good. Well, congratulations. Four years, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm running the mud around at my house. Did your mom ever loosen up or she was some of my people uh, ask for permission to get me a pool? Uh, she loosened up. I can't wait to leave. Please don't leave. What? Two About points. what? Your life here at Gall 8. I have been. Your seniors. How do you feel like to be a senior right now? Pretty awesome. I can't wait to be out of here. What are your plans for the future? Going to Western and being a history Alex, teacher. what's your thoughts here in high school? <laughs> so glad to be done. What are your plans for the future? Uh, business management, restaurants, Any culinary arts. Any favorite memories here at Colleague? <laughs> this one time at band camp, or this one time at Disney. So I'm going to graduate, and uh, I'm really excited to graduate, and I can't wait to uh, go to college and get my degree. Hi, my name is Tommy Rose. Uh, I'm a senior. I'm in band. I'm a percussionist. I was in drumline. I'm going to Indiana Wesleyan University for computer software engineering. And I'm really glad to be here. Oh, senior! I'm a senior! And those are your seniors. Back to the studio. Thank you, Ellie, for that very interesting interview. And now, Samantha Huntsberger reporting on statistics about texting while driving. Hi, my name is Samantha Huntsberger reporting here for the Gull Lake News. Today, I'm doing a report on statistics of texting while driving and the dangers of it. While teenagers are texting, they spend about 10% outside of the driving lane they're supposed to be in. 
level of handheld cell phone use was higher among the females than it was for the males. Answering a text takes away five seconds of your attention on the road. That's enough time to travel the length of a football field. About 6,000 deaths and half a million injuries happen every year because of distracted driving. And this concludes my report on texting while driving and the dangers of it. I'm Samantha Hunsberger, and back to the studio. Thank you, Samantha, for that fantastic report. Gullick News from PAC. Hi, I'm Summer Gooch interviewing Mr. Knott about PAC. What's upcoming this year for PAC? Well, we had a great year, and uh, we had uh, uh, the tour show, uh, which was Dune Shadow, and we took it to uh, actually the location, of the historical location of the play, which was near Sonitak. So the kids got to go over to the Sonitak schools and, and play. Uh, for the Saga Tech School audience, and then they got to see the buried ghost town. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Then we had a fabulous uh, Festival of the Senses. Uh, with one, eight one-act plays, the most uh, plays we've had ever in one uh, festival. So it was a really good year. And uh, the uh, first thing in the fall is the Stratford trip. Going to Stratford, Canada, and uh, the kids get to see world-class theater in Stratford. Across the border, and so it's, it's been a good year. It, you know, fall is looking good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is how we good interviewing Mr. Na about Peck. And now the Gullick High School's Athlete of the Week. This week's Gullick Athlete of the Week is Courtney Mast of the girls' varsity softball team. Courtney has been a four-year varsity player, and this past week had one of those huge deals as her team wound up winning the conference title. In the process, she gathered eight hits in the double header against Lakeview, which is quite a feat. With those eight hits, she had a triple, three doubles, and seven RBIs to lead the offense onslaught for the team. Congratulations, Courtney, on a great season and tremendous week of individual and team accomplishment. Gallic News from the Athletic Department. Hi, I'm Summer Gooch, interviewing Mr. Chief about the Gallic Athletics. Mr. Chu, can you explain the Gull Lake Strength and Conditioning Program? Uh, yeah, we are uh, going to be conducting a district-wide strength and conditioning program for middle school and high school kids uh, that will give a huge benefits to those kids and also our programs. And it's really the next step we need to take in order to get our programs to the next level. Okay. Um, can you tell us about the physical set? Yeah, uh, every student that participates in athletics has to have an athletic physical. Uh, for all high school kids, that date will be uh, Thursday, May 31st uh, at 6 o'clock right here in the high school. Thank you. This is Ben Summer Duke interviewing Mr. Trude. And now off to the weather with our meteorologist, Marianne Cox. So it looks like Mother Nature has a pretty good week for us planned. Not quite as warm as last week, but let's take a closer look. Um, so starting out on Wednesday, it's going to be... 64, um, mostly sunny, that's nice. Um, Thursday, a little bit warmer, 67, with mostly cloudy, so not as much sun, but like still pretty warm. Um, Friday, a 50% chance of showers, but the high is going to be 66. Um, Saturday, it's partly cloudy, um, high of 64, and then Sunday, it's going to start to warm up a little bit, and it's going to be 76 and mostly sunny. Then Monday is going to be even warmer, 80 degrees, partly cloudy. And then Tuesday, best day of all, 79, sunny. No clouds at all on, on Tuesday. So if you're going to go to the beach this week, Tuesday is your day. Thank you. Back to the studio. Thank you, Mary, for that amazing weather report. <laughs> Thank you for watching Gullick News episode 31. Please come back next week for the Gullick News episode 32 on the Gullick News Multimedia YouTube channel.